All right, Gary, what are we playing this week? Well, Cole, um, yourself and us two listeners will recall that when I was a youth, I had a weakness for YM quizzes. Why, like young miss quizzes? Is that, yep. what that? Oh, okay. Indeed. Yeah. My, uh, my stepsister had, got a, had a subscription and I would read the quizzes uh, in, as kind of like a proto BuzzFeed, except for, you know, 1995. Right. And I would read them over the phone to my friend Derek. Uh, and we would do them and we would find out these and it was for jokes, you know, uh, but we just thought, you know, it was outlandish that it, we would get these results that were very incongruous right. with our lives, you know? Yeah. Um, so I have been, uh, I went on eBay and I uh, got a big lot of YM magazines mm. um, and it includes some discredited YM magazines Ooh, that forbidden. they tried to get rid of. Forbidden. Yes. Uh, these, 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 these like these were like printed on the same presses as YM, but after hours. Yes, like creepy pasta YM magazine. <laughs> you know, like, uh, this is this is the YM magazine that is revealed if you apply a, a specific like like a vinegar of fruit from a specific tree. Yes, onto the pages. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Um. So I have uh here this 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 quiz. I'm going to give you. And I'm hoping that it leads to, uh, and this is from an episode you know, that were published for no reason I can think of. Okay. It was probably pretty good, um, but just uh, they didn't publish it. And I'm going to give you these questions, and then I'm hoping that the results will suggest a game. Okay. Okay. Um, okay. You have entered New York City. Are you more likely to say, I am going to summon the gods of war and take you down? Or... I could pull electricity out of the air. I became Johnny Ohm. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Which one? Just put yourself in that situation. Which would you be more likely to say? Um, I I I like pulling electricity out of the air. That 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 okay. that feels that feels a little bit more self declarative as opposed to outright boastful. Okay. Let me go ahead and give it a give it a click. Okay. <clears throat> Do your origins begin? In the Iraq War, as part of a special forces platoon sent to do a simple miss mission, or were your origins in the middle of a ruthless gang war with the Yakuza uh, and that kept you away from your wife for a year? Sensitive. Yeah, um, this is yeah, this is this is probably not Wyoming's <laughs> best work. I'm starting to see why they shelved this one. Yeah. Um. Huh. Uh, I think I see where this one's going. Uh, let's say the Iraq one. Okay. Uh, I, 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 I am not uh, I, I am not badass enough to be of the Yakuza. Yeah, I, I would agree. Um, <laughs> you can the, <laughs> okay, <laughs> Dick. <laughs> okay, fine, Cole. You're you're Yakuza material. <laughs> <laughs> I played one of yeah. those games. It's... Yeah, I'm sure you could do karaoke and not get your fucking face carved off for <laughs> not bowing at the right time. Okay. Um, okay. Final question. Do your powers include body manipulation via a particle reactor fused to the inside of your right thigh or do your powers include uh earthquake generation through localized earthquakes through a seismic accelerator grafted onto your entire body um i would prefer the one that's just grafted onto my side although i do not uh, especially care for the thigh. idea and i do not care for the body manipulation aspect mm. of this that just sounds well, really creepy so it makes it a tough quiz like you have to yeah. choose between those two no no i don't want it to be grafted to my to my entire body so you're going to go for the body manipulation with the particle reactor fused inside your right thigh i can just decide not to use it sure yeah okay let me uh go ahead and tally these up uh cole according to this discredited uh, creepy pasta ym magazine you're one of the imperfects what the fuck is that well let's find out yeah, game computer. <laughs> uh, I, I will. I will. So yes, the game computer came back with Marvel Nemesis Rise of the. What the fuck is that, Gary? Hi, you're one of them. Oh, me? tell me, I'm perfect. Yeah, this this is a binding YM quiz. <laughs> no, so, <laughs> literally binding. It says right here. That's the, so I got yeah. wheeled away on a dolly like Hannibal Lecter. Like, ah! <laughs> yeah, they're going for, to where the for processing. <laughs> yeah, the processing. Uh, young Marvel Rise mm. of the Imperfect. I'm 
Butterfield. I'm Cole Ross. After suffering, the show where we talk about bad games, you don't have to, and we're between catchphrases <laughs> at the moment. And we'll get there. Yeah, it, just give we'll, us some fucking time. Get off, Clint. Klein, you, you, you're 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 standing on top of my dick right now. Mm-hmm. Um, please yeah. climb down from it. I understand that you need to reach us something on top of the cabinets. Mm-hmm. Perhaps use a step ladder like a normal person. Yeah. You know, and not uh no. Yeah, just get just get off my dick about yeah. about the catchphrase right now. What if what if when you wanted to get something on top of a, a cabinet instead of a step ladder, you got out a step dad? <laughs> and that's how you used to climb up on top of I the mean, cabinet or get for, things on high shelves. For for a certain for a certain amount of time when I was young and not tall enough to reach shelves and my stepdad yeah. was home, that's what I had. So yeah, you, you got out your stepdad. So on, I don't I, I, I think like, you, you think that you invented some kind of like Stephen Wright kind of bit? Um, but in reality, all you did was like, sure, like, no, like <laughs> write like a, write, write a, a, a greeting card. You know, I never Please. needed a step ladder because I had a step dad. Happy Father's <laughs> Day. Great greeting card. <laughs> like, it's it's just me standing. It's just a kid standing on top of the dad. Yeah. They were like, and they were like the dad reaching down, handing a diploma to the son that he yeah. got off the cabinet. <laughs> 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 or, like, or like, or, or handing him like a, a wedding ring at his wedding from on yeah. top of a cabinet. <laughs> yeah. um, so I, I know, I know your troubled history with dads. Sure. Um, and th- 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 this bit is about two months too late, but I apologize, but it's something that really g- 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 I get hung up on, um, mm-hmm. uh, just uh, like in the process of, ha- have you gone father's day card shopping? Oh no. I, no, I do not celebrate that holiday. Okay. Um, father. So it did like every year I end up having to buy like, uh, to no two, two, two father's day cards. No three. I- I've had to buy got a lot of fathers. Yeah. I, I got, I got a lot of fathers going on. You throw grandfathers in the mix there. Um, you know, which is fine. Um, uh, I don't know. I don't know why I got like real defensive about that all of a sudden. Yeah. No one's challenging your stepfather authority, Cole. <laughs> we all know you have the most stepfathers. Yeah, like Cole. You're sweeping them. the steppies. <laughs> no. When other people say, please, no steppy. You say, please. Mm, steppy. All the steppies. Yeah, give me all the steppies. Yeah. Steppy fathers. Um, l- 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 let me describe every single Father's Day card. Um, okay. so that I think, I think that I'm going to limit it to three, to three categories. Um, you are incredibly fat. You are incredibly flatulent or okay. you love TV or TV and or beer more than your family. Okay. That um, does all sound rough. <laughs> like, so you go looking for a father's day card, uh, that is. You know, and it's something not about parts. right, you know, like that, that is not like super, super flowery. Um, you know, they just not, it's not the big like seven dollar greeting card that is like, what does a father mean to me? And sure, that, you're, on, you're on a budget, like, yeah. you have a lot of stuff. I, mean, a lot of, I mean, I've got a lot of stepfathers, yeah. Um, no, so and so, and so you go a couple racks down and like, you know, uh, for, for, for dad, just for fun, and it's like, are you a fat fuck who hates your kid but loves TV? <laughs> Far <laughs> happy Father's Day, here's a pair of bongos, <laughs> like. That's all it is. Fucking just, yeah. d- d- just the worst. And buying cards for anybody else is n- no better. Um, so I think I, I, this tears it. Next time, I, I, I'm just going to get a bunch of empty inside greeting cards that have mm-hmm. uh, that, that that have just a generic front on them. And I watch just just write the fucking write what the fuck I'm thinking inside of it, and then send it to them because I am done. I am off. I'm off the fucking uh, hamster wheel, Gary. I'm sure. off the hamster wheel. Well, I mean, uh, I don't know, like uh, uh, personalized greeting cards are mm-hmm. a nice thing anyway. Yeah. You know, I'm done. Um, I'm just a, I've never felt so liberated, Gary. Well, through, through, through that terrible hackneyed bit, I am free. Good. <laughs> no, no one's trying to imprison you. OK. Like in, in the step prison of your own design. Like, <laughs> you know, <laughs> just uh, just uh, just let it go. The uh, the imperfects are kind of like step Avengers kind of um yeah. so the imperfects like it feels just the the idea of like you're you're trying way too hard to make it a thing oh yeah the, yeah so this, we, this whole this we whole talk product, this. project smacks of effort <laughs> it's like, max effort like, there is like a strong whiff of <laughs> intense effort coming off of the imperfects uh as the just as a crafted transmedia event that no one actually put very much time into yeah you know like this is going to take the world by storm 
Uh, I don't want to. No, 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 it doesn't have it, well, it be, It's going to take the world by storm because we say it will. Rain. And yeah. Cyclops. And, yeah. Yep. Um, yeah, it just, yeah, it's basically like, how could this go wrong? Right. When you get Marvel comics and they're stable of, of beloved characters mm-hmm. and EA involved yeah. with their, uh, you know, general, uh, you know, developer friendliness and dedication to making a quality product. Yeah. E- e- EA and <sighs> especially at this time, their natural tendency towards mediocrity. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 So you, you, you hire EA, which has, you know, problems of its own. And then just say, I need you to make me Marvel poochies, each one of them more poochy than the last. Yep. And Marvel was like, yes, you know, this, <laughs> during this time, Marvel wasn't doing horribly, right? Like it was not a bad time for Marvel. And they decided to collaborate. So I, uh, I lived this. <laughs> I, you, I lived, you lived this, the, the, this, this six issue series. I, I, well, I got the first issue uh, and it was horrible. <laughs> Uh, but I got it because Greg Pak wrote it, and Greg Pak is not a hack. Like Greg Pak is actually <laughs> that, is, is that is that on his business card. Yeah, he's, Greg Pak, not Greg a Pack. hack. And then he turned it over. It says not a hack. Yeah. The um yeah. So Greg Pak has written some really good comics, legitimately. Um, you know some some bad comics as well. Yeah. But you know, I just kind of like I'll give this a chance. This looks dumb, but like I like that writer, and that's yeah. basically what I decide to buy comics based on. Yeah. Uh, and it was really bad, so I didn't read the whole thing, <laughs> but I also uh got the game some point you know, mm-hmm. mid 20s before i moved out to portland living yeah, with my yeah. uh my wife uh fiance wife at the time mm-hmm. uh, so i played this um and it's really bad it's like a really pretty crappy like it's 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 not you know as bad as it could be but it's not very good yeah and the imperfects themselves are just charismaless voids so are we gonna do the classic roster run on Hell fighting yes, games <laughs> God, are we going to do the the roster on of the Imperfects? I love the Imperfects, dude. <laughs> who who uh, Imperfects versus Zumbinis? Go. <laughs> oh, Im- Imperfects. Uh, yep. No, I can't. I still can't make jokes about the Zumbinis <laughs> because of, because of race. So, <laughs> well, shit. <laughs> the uh, I, I just feel like the Imperfects are a really golden thing to add to the non-specific nouns, collective <laughs> nouns. Yeah. You know. Like I went to the party, but there are a bunch of the imperfects there. Mm. They've really risen lately, you know. And just the because uh, we got these imperfects. There's like yeah. six of them. They all suck. There's a bunch of daymares walking around. They're yeah. Horrible. Like, it's just like terrible designs. Yeah. They all suck. Uh, so let's go through them. Yes. Um, we have the leader here, Paragon. Paragon. Um, yep. she is. Uh, was she a reptile lady? She's got blades on her arm. She looks like a Mortal Kombat. The the design is extremely Witchblade. Like, what the yeah, fuck she, is she, Witchblade? It's it's a shitty comic. Okay, it's it's like a um you know from like an image. I think it's image. Yeah, like an image comic from around this time. Mm-hmm. Um, somebody is gonna fucking at me about that. Yeah, the, the, I just like somebody just walked over my grave. Like someone's gonna be like, oh, Witchblade is actually good, and it's actually uh, you know this comics. <laughs> Witchblade got good twenty five years in. If you read this particular yeah, arc, yeah, yeah, it's just the yeah. Uh, no, it's, yeah, it started bad, but you just had to put in the four hundred issues. Yeah, no, or really, four hundred really minutes pays depending off. on the media. Yeah. Um. So <laughs> Fuck, uh, I, haven't, just... I haven't finished like Alan Moore's run on Swamp Thing yet. Like, yeah, <laughs> give me a break. Yeah. The um. Yeah. The uh, let's describe what Witchblade or what Paragon is wearing. Um. Because uh, it's pretty hard to describe, quite honestly. Yeah, that's that, that's why I called her kind of a Mortal Combat because she has the uh, the absolute cleavage going on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like it, she looks like uh, Carnage is spooning her and grabbing her breast from behind. That is actually a very good way to put it. Um, uh, but like, she's not any particular color. Is no, the, is, no, is yeah. the thing. So like, she's like, she, she, she just kind of appears to be covered in drab gray, sl- like slices of something. Drab gray, yeah. dra- drab gray slices. Like coating and slicing. Like she's been like, she's been treated like a deck. <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's been weatherproofed, but only part way. Oh, that's you know? that. That's why her real name is Valspar. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Val Valspar. I thought this is Maya. Are we looking at the right person? No, no. I just know. Oh, okay. Just, oh, is that, a, is that just, a kind of? I just yeah. That that, 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 that <laughs> That's a kind of paint. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Okay, home. People got that. Yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, the landed gentry in the audience really appreciated that, that joke, I'm sure. Like, okay. <laughs> Yeah. Um, uh, six foot tall. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Tall lady. Um, yeah. 
one of the things about all of the imperfects is they all have costumes on that make it impossible for them to do things. <laughs> so like she has so, these huge so spikes. Boots, her yeah, her boots. boots. How would you sit down in those things? <laughs> Carefully. <laughs> Like she has two huge spikes coming out of the back of her heels, it, 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 like scythes. She has two huge scythes. If you sat, it's like you could just sit down on them and just double pierce your ass. <laughs> like with, you could just sit down on these spikes, and then she has them on her hands as well, and they reach further than her hands. So yeah. imagine her like reaching for a soda and just constantly pushing it away, no. you know, or puncturing the soda and then having to like push her face up to the side of the can. Yeah, and, just, and, like, like, she, 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 she cannot drink a pop. She has to shotgun it. Yeah. <laughs> Now, Paragon has a rough life. Yes. Um, and she's like the Superman. Like, she has all the Superman powers. Yeah. Huh. Uh, Alias is the ultimate machine or the perfect, which yeah. is just contradictory. You can't be the perfect and be one of the imperfects. No. Like, come on. Come on. Pack. Come um, on. Pack. Yeah. Yeah. This, yeah. This is, this is rough. Oh, well, Pack <laughs> didn't create these. EA created them. Pack oh, just yes. Them yeah. Um, so that, that's a uh, Paragon. <laughs> Next up, we got the bad boy. Johnny Ohm. Johnny or John Ostrom. Yes. Uh, yeah. Which sounds I don't like your a... real name is John, but then your your <laughs> alias you go by Johnny. Yep. But they're both your real fucking name, Johnny. Yeah. <laughs> I am William Bill Dotry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like uh alias is including Electric Warrior and Johnny Savage. Mm-hmm. Uh one of the imperfects. Um, and he doesn't wear a shirt. Well, he can't. It doesn't yeah. appear. He 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 is one of the uh, well, one of the perpetual shirtless because of all of the electronic doodads that 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 come out of him. Um, G- Gary, how is this? How is Johnny Ohm different than Electro? Um, origins. Okay. That's really it. Yeah. Like he okay. was he was going to be executed. No, he's basically Ernest from Ernest Goes to Jail. <laughs> I don't know if you remember that Ernest. Uh, it's it's fucked do up. A, yeah, do a problem with the fucking electric chair. <laughs> Ernest gets. Super electricity powers and rampages outside of the jail. Yeah. That happens and Ernest goes to jail. Like, we didn't make that up. But no, Ernest no. is basically Johnny Ohm <laughs> uh, during this. That's where EA got the idea. Yeah. <laughs> he had somebody to round it Barney out. Sketch. Yeah. Huh. Um, so that's him. And he's got electricity. He's an electromancer. Mm. Basically. Um, electri- yeah. Electrocution went, went awry. And I think if you're being executed on an electric chair, this is the best you can hope for. Yes. Although I don't understand why just being zapped and having it go wrong because like, uh, in one way that could be that scene from the green mile. Um, in Mm -hmm. in the other way, like, like where did all this metal come from? Was it in there? It's no, no, it's, it happened. He survived and then they did it to him and through experimentation. Gotcha. Okay. So like, oh, the, the, this, this, this man is not allergic to electricity. Yeah. N- yeah. Niles Van Roekel, the, uh, <laughs> the sinister villain of Rise of the Imperfects. Jesus. Uh, so the Van Roekels. The time uh, has decided. come to destroy everything in our path. The victory is the only answer. Yes. Victory <laughs> is the answer. God. Um, so he also has some magnet powers through his electricity. Oh, well, yeah. You know. Um, and he can lift a, a, a one and a half ton vehicle. Is there a scene in the game where it's like him and Magneto, like having a magnet duke? I'm sure. Okay. I, I did not get that far. Uh, even when I played it in 2006, mm. but also that was like a century ago. Yeah. Basically yeah. like you know, 13 years ago. I don't remember a whole lot, but, right. um, so that's, that's Johnny, Johnny Ohm. Mm-hmm. Uh, next up on the chopping block, we got, uh, Rick Lando, AKA brigade. Yeah. Martin's great grandson. Yes, Martin Landau's great grandson. The uh, this is a tasteful origin um, cool. about the war in Iraq. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah. Um, no, there there was an IED that went off. Uh, chain reaction, killing all one hundred men. Yeah, yeah. He was dropping that package off. It's basically dropping off the bomb ring. Yes. Yeah. Um, uh, and, and <laughs> he fused all their brains into a neural network. Yeah. Cool. He's an he's an entire unit. His entire unit got. Oh, hence, hence the name Brigade. Yeah. Uh, powers, cybernetic arms. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, weaknesses, having the psyches of a, psyches of a hundred men implanted in his head at any point in battle, one of the minds will attempt to break out and reject the singular identity so and mobilize just, Landau. So just fucking Legion then. Yeah. <laughs> like all of this is just, they, they did it. Yeah. Yeah. They... yeah EA just read some comics. <laughs> so so good, good job. EA. God damn it. Yeah. Uh, overall, Rick Landau believes he has become the ultimate warrior. Well, can be by being many warriors in one. Uh, Rick Landau has to work hard to keep his personalities in line like a drill master. Uh, drill master is not a fucking thing. 
Yeah. <laughs> Drill Sergeant. Yeah. That's what you're looking for there. Yeah. Um, yeah. So this guy, you know, and then he's also one of the shirtless rise of the shirtless. Yes. Yeah. Uh, that happens in this, uh, this game, which I think most of them don't have shirts. I think there's one that has a shirt. that's going to throw the curve. <laughs> but stop this from being called rise of the shirtless. And he's seven foot six. Good God. So, so being, uh, getting all those personalities made him grow a foot and a half. Yeah. It's pretty weird. Hmm. So he's all right. It's been fun. Uh, moving on. We got Rico, uh, Kuroakaki, uh, AKA Solera. Yes. Fire was no longer my curse, but my salvation. I am Solara. Uh, this is the, uh, the Yakuza lady who has fire powers. Yep. Yeah. So, uh, again, effectively the same as the human torch. Right. You know, in terms of, uh, you know, like the human torch mixed with pyro, mm-hmm. you know, um, but yeah, just a, a fire Yakuza lady. There's not a whole lot to her, you know? Yeah. Like she, um, she, she was a, she was a mate, a mate yeah. for the, for the Yakuza. And then she survived uh, like their HQ getting set on fire or something. Yep. You know. And then was experimented on by the dreaded Niles Van Roekel. Mm. Um, and she just kind of wears like a suit, like a body suit. Yeah. yeah. So fairly tasteful as far as the, on the imperfects curve, mm-hmm. I'd say. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, moving on to my favorite. Uh, Benedetta G- Gaetana, Gaetani, a.k.a. The Wink. <laughs> um, so yeah, I, I, I know why she's your favorite, because <laughs> she uh, is related to a bunch of magicians. Sure. Catch me with as you can. Energy. <laughs> the, um, well, and also she has teleportation powers, which I've always thought are cool. Oh, yes. Teleportation powers. Um, I mean, hands down. The superpower yeah. that I would want to have. Um, yeah. So she has a uh, kind of claws uh, and then she wears a cowl, but just, you know, make, make sure that the cleavage is going on. Right. So you right, make sure that her right. TDs are hanging out. Of course. Um, Italian. Uh, she works through the daughter of uh, magicians, Italian magicians. Yes. Aldo uh, and Corazon Gaetani. Yep. Gaetani, the great Gaetani. Uh, they took the magic world by storm. Uh, but this, uh, you know, there was a, a, issue with it and then she got experimented on yeah by yeah the jerk um that happens to all these people and she can uh she has a particle reactor fused to the inside of her thigh mm. which like if you were to like get with this girl that'd be a real surprise yes you know uh, maybe, maybe it's a good handle <laughs> sure <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> I that's true um yeah i didn't think about that <laughs> um <laughs> the uh but this allows her to create uh tendrils mm-hmm. uh, and then she can also teleport by accessing the fifth dimension so fine, fine. Yeah, she's got the I, fifth dimension's greatest hits, and she can teleport. Yeah, the, 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 this is okay. Like, like this would be like a, a C minus, like secondary hero as part of a as part of a band somewhere else. Oh sure, yeah. yeah I'm I'm judging very purely on the imperfect oh, curve, right. which is that all these guys fucking suck. Yes. This coterie of dipshits is horrible. <laughs> um, but I just you know, and also in the, whenever they refer to the plot, they always call her the wink. <laughs> which I think is this wink. And I hope she does her signature moves a lot. Mm. Oh, <laughs> what was signature moves? What? I hope she, she does her signature move, a.k.a. winking. Oh, yes. Ting. Yeah. How would you tell beneath and then the she, cowl? Her, her arch enemy, the blink. <laughs> She's got nearly double her power. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh, of course, there actually is a character named Blink, mm-hmm. uh, who never blinks. Um, Maria Petrova, uh, a.k.a. Fault Zone. I Which will is now not seek very, my revenge on the rest of the world. Not a very elegant name. No. Um, so I imagine the, the so fault zone, something like seismic activity kind of kind yes. of deal. Okay. She's an earthquake lady. Yeah. She's five nine and weighs ninety five pounds. Holy shit! That's, that's 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 extremely thin. Yeah, that she she would break in half. I think. Yeah, that is no. Uh, that is yeah, like no body fat. Yeah. And the second she you know she she creates earthquakes and she's fast and strong. Yes. Because she has cybernetic legs. Mm. Um, look at her hands. She also cannot do anything. <laughs> she's got she's Edward Pin hands. Is she fucking a Mega Man? Like yeah. She's like she's Beetle Man. Uh huh. For Mega Man, that's so weird. Well, what what's up with her top? Is that a bondage top? Like that that is it's like, like a, just like encircling her breasts and holding them outward. It is. It's like a bondage top under a very tight gray t shirt like, or over a very tight gray t shirt. So so she, like it, like it's a bondage top under pantyhose material. Like yes. under like under a body stocking that doesn't cover her legs or arms. Yes. Yeah. Um what's going on with so in like in this in, in this image, uh she appears to be standing on point but without heels. 
Yeah. Uh, maybe. Yeah. Oh, does she have a history as a she's ballerina? A ballerina. Oh, okay. Yeah, she I got gotcha. you. Ballerina. Okay. She's a Russian ballerina, which yeah. like, come on, guys, you guys have, you know, <laughs> Black Widow. Like you, you guys do have that character. Yeah. No, it's never Marvel stopped comics. them before. It's never stopped them before, Gary. I know. <sighs> it's horse hockey. Yeah. Uh, I would watch sounds- the fuck out of horse hockey. <laughs> I would watch horse hockey as well, man. Horse hockey sounds I mean, right. like it would have horse- the highest body count of any sport. But-, <laughs> but I mean, if luck has taught us anything, those body counts don't matter. Okay, yeah. yeah. Uh, and I'm imagining people riding those horses. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. So in it'd be, my mind, it'd be like polo, it'd be like polo, but on ice. Okay. Yeah. The um, what a uh, how about the the hockey horses versus the imperfects? <laughs> I mean, the, the the surviving hockey horses have to be both graceful and intelligent and yeah. durable. I think that the, I think they would uh, defeat the imperfects in a walk. It'd be a good way to to weed out both the bad imperfects and the bad hockey horses. Weed out the good imperfects and the bad hockey horses. Yeah, and eventually they can join forces. Yeah, like the imperfects ride around the hockey horses. Mm, imperfect horse forces. They call me Slapshot. <laughs> or, or or something else that was somebody's first idea. They call me Patrick. The, uh, you know, I got three heads and absorbed the entire we're team. We're the first draft squad. <laughs> yeah. Born from a crumbled up piece of paper in a waste paper basket. Yeah. Um, I'm Thunder have, Punch not... or something like that. Is that your full name? <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, also known as Lightning Fist. <laughs> um, yeah, there's one last Imperfect, who I think is, is kind of a winner. Uh, we got Hazmat. Yeah. Dr. Keith Killam. Yep. Kill him, <laughs> kill him Keith. Here. Who, uh, his, he's missing an arm. It's been hazmatted off because he uh, dealt with mankind's most lethal substances, Ebola, anthrax, ricin, HCN, mustard gas, sarin gas, and uh, VX deck gases. If oh. uh no. Okay. Um, and uh, he was trying to find vaccines, but terrorists attacked the lab, and now he's got all this toxin creation. So, so he can... he's dead. He's dead as fuck. Well, he, except he survives. Oh, uh, okay. All right. Or else uh, Dr. Van Roick wine or whatever would not uh, mm. find him. So he can, uh, he has webbing because they just had to have a Spider Man analog. Um, he has shown the ability to lift a car. Great. Uh, and then he uh, his bones have dissolved in the liquid, which allows him to contort his body in ways no ordinary human could, conf- could he's, perform. He's part way to being Dr. Skin Good. He, he's very close to Dr. Skin Good. Yeah. Except he also creates toxins. See, that's which we never thing. said Dr. Skin Good didn't create toxins. But it fair. seems antithetical to his his, his, his know, goal. goal. <laughs> well, no, no. His, his, <laughs> his, his, his goal of seemingly helping you with a scam, but then, you know, yeah. it, it, it turns on you uh, real fast. Yeah. Dr. Skin Good has big and perfect energy. <laughs> like, <laughs> like. B.I.E.? Yeah, B.I.E. Like, the, the, the imperfects. I think would actually do a really great job of just kind of melding into our general mythos Mm -hmm. without it needing anything to be done. Yes. Like all, all six of these idiots could just kind of join the party, (laughs) (laughs) you know, Buffo versus Johnny. (laughs) (laughs) Um, But uh, hazmat has my favorite, my favorite of the, of the quotes. It is my (laughs) curse to be alive. Yeah, my Hazmat's curse, alive. comma to be alive. It is a curse <laughs> to me. To me, to be alive. <laughs> Hazmat's having a rough time. Yeah, is, is the reality of it. And like, you wouldn't want to be Hazmat if you, were, you know, even though he can eat, like he he can reach for a soda, hmm. which none of the other imperfects could do. And that's the thing. He can reach for he can reach for an arm, you know, re- reach an arm away. Um, so I think yeah. I realized why, like, why a lot of these feel extremely redundant. Mm-hmm. Um, because EA said, okay, which of, which of the official Marvel, uh, heroes and villains do we have access to? And they got the list and then they, then they designed the villains to be like balanced matches for them. Gary balance strikes again. Why does Hasbro yeah, have webbing? Because you've got Spider-Man and Venom in this. Yeah. And Venom and Hazmat. Yeah. A lot of overlap there thematically. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, why why um, do we why do we have Paragon? Well, I mean she's a little bit she's kinda like Wolverine, right? Yeah, she's got the blades and stuff. Yeah. Even though to be fair not to be fair, I don't know what this means. <laughs> Are you gonna step up? Are you gonna speak for the st- imperfects? Who will no. speak for the imperfects? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Quarter pointed imperfects defenders logged on. The uh no no, but there's no there's no uh, corollary for the wink. Like you'd think that'd be Nightcrawler, but Nightcrawler doesn't show up yeah. in the game. So a couple of them are not quite that. Yeah. You know. 
Mm. I'm not defending them. Just it's just the case. Yeah, so the storm, yeah, so, storm probably has something that that, that acts like that in Johnny the game. Ohm. Maybe. Oh yeah, yeah Johnny Ohm. Ohm shit. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, Stormed by Johnny Ohm or Magneto. Right. Like there are more heroes than there are villains. Um, it only the, uh, it, it only appears that way because there are some that are system exclusive. Oh, you're right. The uh, yeah. DS and PSP exclusives. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah. But you know, you look at you look at the main list. Like, so you have the Human Torch there to fight Solara. Mm-hmm. If you're not playing on on DS or PSP. Um, there's no fire enemy right, to fight. Right. Like probably fights like Iron Man or something, you yeah. know. So it's not exactly one to one, but it is largely one to one. Yeah, yeah. So, so, like yeah, there are aspects. Not try- Good. Yeah, yeah. I'm just saying I'm not trying to defend the imperfects. Smacks of effort. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just yeah i just uh i mean, you you've outed me as a big imperfects fan <laughs> well so. you, you seem to know a lot about what it is so is the idea that like dr what's his nuts like releases them on manhattan and it's up to our heroes to stop yeah. them yeah they're from a different <sighs> different dimension are they uh, and they come to our dimension to, oh yeah no oh. they're from a different earth they come to oh. our earth to take over okay I, I, I figure so they're listed as earth 50701 uh but i didn't know that yeah. like that was just the earth that this this version of peter parker was from you know no 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 they were dealing with canonical 616 peter parker oh well, that's, so. that's lame <laughs> yeah yeah it's it's you know, this is canon yeah like i i just want you know i'm like you read comics at some point in like 2024 and have wolverine be like god i miss johnny ohm <laughs> johnny you know johnny ohm would have made short work of this guy yeah just I, I wanted to show up in the movies like when they eventually introduce the the x-men into the the marvel universe uh-huh. you know that's what i want yep on phoenix to be like ah this seems like a, <laughs> that's a good voice for phoenix ah yes this seems like a good job yes, for paragon yes paragon come yeah, here paragon can help me gene gray <laughs> um, <yeah. laughs> it's like I just love the idea, you know, they put post credit stinger, like just to, you know, just it makes a reference to hazmat and nobody fucking yeah. knows what it is. <laughs> <laughs> like, like all the all those sleuths who know immediately, like, oh shit, they're talking about I, I don't know, I can't name an obscure Marvel person. Sure, Adam dork. Warlock. Yeah, yeah, well, that's Adam Warlock. You know, <laughs> I just yeah. know like and nobody nobody knows past. or remembers the fucking imperfects. Yeah, and, and and they could do Rise of the Imperfects as Phase Four like pretty easily. I think. Pro- yeah, they're yeah. they're gonna start scraping the bottom of the barrel. Yeah, they they, they, yeah, they, they fired, got, they fired they, all they have, their good bullets. <laughs> well, they still they have Galactus. Okay, so they have one big cosmic threat left. They've got Galactus, then, but like Galactus inherently comes with the Silver Surfer, which is lame as fuck. Yeah, I, yeah. But yeah, I know, but he also comes with like the Fantastic Four and stuff. Okay, you can do yeah. good Galactus stories. Yeah. They're just the, uh, but after that, I agree that they're pretty much done. Yeah. Like, I don't know what they have after that. Like, then they're like going back in time and fighting Morgan Le Fay and yeah. shit like that. Like, Avengers do some really wacky shit. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's it. Oh, and this is a, this is a action fighting game kind of like power stuff. <laughs> Here um, we are at the, at the, yeah. the 33 minutes in. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's a little bit like Power Stone, folks. Yeah. Um, it's like Power if Stone. If you like this show, <laughs> <laughs> you can uh, you can rate and review it on iTunes. Yeah. Uh, but the best thing you can do is go to patreon.com slash TV. Yeah. Um, there you can get two extra episodes per month um, of mm-hmm. this show and also help choose what those are going to be. We do polls um, and people seem to get really invested uh, in the results of those, which is fun. It's fun it's to fun. see people yeah. tear tear themselves and and each other apart. The, the and their garment, the rending of teeth and the rending of garments. Yes. Uh, who uh, who foisted this upon? Oh yes, this was a uh, a dictated episode. Let me look here. Imper imprefect. This is from Ben. Ben Sapaka. Thank you, Ben. Yes. My friends oh, and I you, played the hell out of this game in middle school. Uh, it's possibly the most unbalanced fighter I've ever played, uh, but we didn't care because we got to make Wolverine and Iron Man fight each other. So mm-hmm. I, I can understand. And uh, good. make Johnny Ohm fight Hazmat. So I, did, I, I know that I know that we're, we're, we're beyond the admin, but it's something that occurred to me when I was playing this. Like, if they didn't try to shoehorn the Imperfects into this and this was just power stone but with marvel heroes i feel like this would have been better like it's oh, not sure. great but like the the imperfects just trying to make them a thing just makes this inherently embarrassing as a product i i yeah 
I agree. Like, I, I think that um, a power stone based in the Marvel characters is a good idea. Mm -hmm. There is a rich history of Marvel fighting games, mm -hmm. you know, in general. And like Capcom just kind of has it on lock. Yeah. So anything is going to suffer a little bit by comparison. Yes. You know, at this time, like if I wanted Iron Man and Wolverine to fight, like though I would choose to do it in, you know, Marvel versus Capcom 2. Yeah. Yeah. You know, probably. And then and then you're adding like Tron Bone instead of the Imperfects. Yes. And that's, you know, I, I don't know, so that's a major step up. <laughs> It's a, it's a big step up for sure. Like yeah. there are some low cards that they add in that stuff. Yeah. Like, Hey, it's yeah. city vampire. Like, I don't, I don't love that, but like mm -hmm. they, at the very least they, uh, they're not the imperfects. Right. Now, I don't think there's anybody. <laughs> at least on you the... have that. <laughs> yeah. At the very least, like, and if you're listening to this and you're like having a bad day, like mm -hmm. you're not one of the imperfects. <laughs> I know. Right. You know? Take that. <sighs> yeah. Just take that as, you know, as but, encouragement, you know, put that on my tombstone. <laughs> like never was one of the imperfects you know yeah yeah fall of the imperfects death of the imperfects mm. funeral for an imperfect <laughs> you know yeah. um anywho uh thanks everybody thank you and uh until next time stay perfect uh johnny ohm is gonna get you <laughs> yeah.